We're starting to work in Module 2 now, and this is where we're going to talk a little bit about the QuickBooks company files. Anytime you create a file in QuickBooks, it is called a company. You can have as many companies as you would like. Often what you will see is a small business owner might set up one company with his personal information and another company that has the business information. Company files do not talk to each other. You don't have to worry about the data getting mixed up. And like I said, you can have as many as you'd like in QuickBooks. You have to either create a brand new one, which we'll do in Section 3. You might already have the desktop version of QuickBooks and you want to upload your file to the online version. We'll look at that in Section 2. But real quick, what I want to talk to you about here is the fact that you do have the availability of a sample file that you can go in and play with as much as you want. You do not have to sign up with a subscription or anything like that to access the sample file. All you have to do is head on over to qbo.intuit.com forward slash redr forward slash test drive. And the company file you're going to be working with here is Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. It is a service-based business. Let's go ahead and head on over there and we'll check out Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. The first thing you will have to do is just verify you're a real person. I'm going to check the box. I'm not a robot. And then in this case, it asked me to pick all the bicycles. I'm going to go through the list and make sure I got them all. And I'll hit verify. Now it knows that I'm a real person and I can access Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. Now while this is pulling up, let me just mention a couple of other things about the sample file. Every day they update the date, so you'll see that date change. You're actually going to be working in the year 2021 in the practice exercise, so just kind of know that when you go in here. And this is what QuickBooks looks like when you first open it up. Now I do want to go through the screen and get you familiar with everything, but I want to do that over in section 4. Before we actually go through this, I want to show you how to upload your data if you wanted to bring your desktop file over or in Section 3, talk about creating a new file. So we'll come back to Craig's Design and Landscaping Services a little bit later. Right now, I want you to head over to Section 2 and let me show you how to upload your QuickBooks desktop files to the online version. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free QuickBooks Online Essential Keyboard Shortcuts infographic, click over there. And click over there to watch more QuickBooks videos from Simon Says It.